Hi everyone. Happy St. Nicholas Day. It's December 6th, which is St. Nicholas Day in Holland. And it's a holiday that I grew up celebrating because we are Dutch. So um, it's a really fun tradition. We're not celebrating it on the day itself. Today we usually don't anymore because everyone's scheduled. So we try to <laughs> we kind of celebrate the same holiday but on a different day. But it is a really big deal in Holland. So I thought I would go into a little bit about what the history is of it, what the story behind it is, and what the traditions are, and then also kind of what my family does to celebrate it nowadays. So let me just jump right in with the history of who St. Nicholas was. So he was actually a saint. He um, lived in Turkey, what is now Turkey, and he gave a lot of it. He had really wealthy parents and his parents died so he had a lot of wealth and he used it all to give to the needy and especially to give to children. So pretty much that is why he is um, remembered as a friend of the children and his holiday is a children's holiday. So that is basically the history of it. The story that we go with nowadays is a little bit different. It goes with that he lives in Spain and he has, I guess, his workshop there, sort of like Santa, and he has helpers, sort of like his elves. Um, and they make all the presents or get all the presents ready. And then sometime in November or so, they come to Holland in the steamboat and all the kids wait for him. And it's just really exciting. And then he kind of tours the country for a while, you know. Just like Santa goes to the mall, he kind of goes to all the schools and he has parades and every kid gets to see him and it's really exciting. And then they do um, on December 5th, which is yesterday night, that is like I guess St. Nicholas Day Eve, I guess it is, but we, we just call it St. Nicholas Day, is when he comes by and gives all the presents. So... All the kids, they put out their shoes and they put like carrots in it for the horse. And then St. Nicholas and his helpers, they run around on the rooftops and bring all the presents. And they put um, little things like, I guess, sort of like stocking stuffers in the shoes. So it's very similar in a lot of ways to the Santa story. But it's just a little bit different. So that is the regular tradition for it. What we do is a little bit modified since, you know, we're over here in America and things are a little bit different and um, our schedules are a little bit different and also everyone's schedule is hectic around this time. So we try to schedule it more when it's convenient as opposed to when the actual holiday is, which I know is a little bit weird, but that's what we do. So um, we're going to celebrate it on December the 21st this year. And... The way we do it is we draw a name. Right now we have me and Steve, my mom, my dad, their German exchange student, my brother, and his girlfriend that are going to do this. So we've all drawn a name already. And what we do for that person is we get them a gift and we make what we call a surprise. And a surprise is kind of, it's really hard to explain, but it's a surprise gift like it sounds. It's um, a lot of times it's sort of like I guess a, a pinata. It'll be a gift hidden without within something else. Sometimes it can be something like a scavenger hunt or like some kind of puzzle they need to solve. It, it can really be anything but the, the goal is to kind of trick them as to what their gift is going to be. And um, everyone kind of has, has a different style. Some of us really like to do puzzles and make whoever we draw do some crazy problem solving. But then other people are really creative in making like an object and hiding the present within it. Like um, I think we've done, people have done sewing projects where, you know, you have to pretty much open the whole thing up again and then Somewhere in the stuffing is a present, or um, again, paper mache is common. All kinds of really fun things. It's it's really interesting to see what people came up with. Last year, I had my brother, and I made him. Um, he was really into ice fishing at the time, so I froze his present into this block of ice. Well, actually, 
I froze the clue to tell him where his present was going to be inside a block of ice, and I made him chip away at it. And um, <laughs> it took a really long time, but it was really funny. So that's what we do. And then we also get gifts for everybody else. So, um, but we don't make those into surprises. So, you know, so I got my brother last year, so I got him that surprise, and then I got everybody else a present. And with every single present, even the, the surprises, we have to write a poem. So, um, <laughs> and the poem is usually funny. It's usually something that hints at what the gift is going to be or kind of um, pokes fun at the person who's getting it. Or I don't know. It's usually just silly and funny. But we try to do that with every gift. It's definitely not mandatory. Like, my mom is really good about making sure that nobody feels pressured because it can be a lot of work to do this holiday. So I, I love it. So I get really, really into the spirit, but you know, my brother's in California right now, so he can't probably do nearly as much and we're going to probably do it over Skype. So it's, he might not be able to send everybody a big thing and everybody a poem, but we're still going to do as much of it as we can. So yeah, that's how we do it. It's a really long evening usually. We have traditional snacks we eat and we have songs we sing and it's it's just a lot of fun because everybody's everybody opens their present one by one. It's not like a free for all. Like one person will open their present. Well, first they read the poem out loud, then they open the present, then they can pick the next person who gets to open one of their presents. And it, it's because we do it all one by one. It takes a really long time, which makes it really fun. It gives us a whole night of fun family time. And it's I absolutely adore this holiday. Like my family will tell you, they I, I love it. I get really into it. And especially once I get a good idea of what I'm going to make, I it's just great. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of that, and um, there will be a video of our celebrating coming up whenever we celebrate it on the 21st. So I guess sometime Christmas week, I will have a video up about that. So anyway, so I hope you guys are having a great holiday season, and uh, happy St. Nicholas Day. Bye, guys.